It's going down for real. Merg Johnny. Here he goes. Here he goes. To my surprise, I woke up this morning with a flat tire. And instead of really prioritizing that, which I should, I thought it'd be a much better idea to go uh, shoot some ducks and get some clams at the point over here. It's really low tide. Well, that's sick. I got some remnant from yesterday on there. Got a little eider blood. I gotta clean this thing off. Look at this ultimate rig, dude. It's the best kayak ever. Although I have not used a, uh, a Hobie PA, 14 foot. Please, I don't really want to try one because I'm afraid I'm going to spend a lot of money if I like it too much. So I just ran into a couple of the neighbors over here. They're actually super cool. This guy is like, I remember he came out here one day and I know we're all legal here because it's title regardless, but blind in you. He came out here one day and he was like, uh, Listen, hey, somebody put some fucking signs up. We hate these signs. The signs just say the hunting rules. Shoot everything. Shoot all the geese. We hate the geese. They're so annoying. He goes, nobody's ever going to complain. If the police show up because of gunshots or tell them to get the hell off my property. <laughs> this guy, he's hilarious. So I'm probably just going to set this camera up over here. This was, this was the blind, but uh, Hurricane Katrina happened a couple days ago and blew everything down. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to set the camera down over here. Throw like two decoys in the water and uh, for no reason and uh, dig for some clams. I'm not going home empty handed one way or another. I don't really know the objective of uh, throwing out two decoys, but maybe what will happen is if there's some wary ducks flying by, they'll think like that guy over there, he's okay because those other two ducks are hanging out with him. Maybe. Let's get hammering. That's not reassuring at all. So I'm not sure if you guys are even familiar with what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm using this garden tool right here and you're just digging in the sand over here, pulling away new areas, and exposing what might be living underneath. And we're looking for claw hogs. These are delicious. There it is. That's too late on that one. Too late. Well, that was a bad missed opportunity. I just like, I gotta keep my eyes open and scan the area more. They flew right over me. Like I was not a threat at all. Nobody expects the guy with the clam rig to be having their shotgun with them, so. I don't blame those birds, but now they know. Now they're on to me. I shook the block. That's pretty good. Where'd you go? There you are. So, that's pretty good. I got about... They smell good. They got about, uh... A little more than a dozen of these. And, and I'm really relying on the fact that I'm gonna shoot a duck. So a little more than a dozen of these should hold off, plus some duck brass. It's probably gonna be a brant. I'm gonna kick it into high gear now over here on the duck hunting part, because I've been just kind of half-ass looking. And this is priority number one because it's tide dependent. Uh, I think I got like three hours left to seal the bag, but uh, I don't think it's gonna take that long. And I really hope it doesn't take that long because I like to cook during the day, and as these days get shorter, sunsets at 416. Let's go clean up these decoys. Move them at least. 
tide's gonna start coming in and I don't have waders on and I don't feel like getting the kayak so come on lady what are you doing to me all right operation shoot a duck for dinner is in effect I'm gonna sit right here on this rock kind of in some weeds and hope a duck probably a brant will fly by and look at my little decoys they're probably just gonna fly by anyway because that's what they do they like to sky bomb over here and like come right over this land mass because it's a shortcut rather than flying around it there's a lot of buffalo heads moving out there all right we're gonna see how this goes merg 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 oh they're all mergs oh my god oh my god the whole squad of mergancers are, are in the keki. Keep going. Keep it pushing, Karen. Go on, get out of here. Something's coming down. I'm done. I'm shooting this and I'm eating it. It's going down for real. Merg Johnny. Here he goes. Here he goes. I'll take that. I'll accept my fate. There's only so much torture one can take. When there's 500 Mergrancers flying over your head and that's it, might as well shoot one and take it home. I'm not going home empty handed. They don't taste bad same day. They're not good if you freeze them. Trust me. And do not overcook them. Whatever you do. You will hate duck hunting and you'll hate ducks forever. So all in all, I'd say that was a that was a success. I mean, I came here, got my call hogs. Uh, I got a duck, despite it being a merganser. But I mean, it was good. That's not the most lavish hunt I've ever been on, but it was certainly successful. There's no shutouts. So I'm gonna head back. Uh, I'm starving. I'm gonna go uh, steam up these call hogs and find something to do with this merganser. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching, and uh, let me know how you guys like these little short videos. Drop some comments in below and whatnot, whatever people usually tell you to do. And I'm not good at that part, but I'll see you guys next time, that's for sure.